Hello and welcome to this part 2 of how to repeat old products based on unit sold frequency distribution. Now in this part 2 we're going to be using the Power Query Editor to perform the operation. So without wasting our time, let's proceed. Now we have the same data set. So what I'm going to do is I've formatted this data as an Excel table, get it into the Power Query Editor. So I'm going to right click and click on get data from table slash range and that's going to open the power query editor with the data set okay now that's amazing now we can easily click on the add column tab and click on the custom column to perform the operation but i actually want to make it to be more interesting by using the advanced editor so i'm going to close this and then click on the view tab now under the advanced click on the advanced editor and that's going to open the advanced editor and of course we can see the code that is already been generated now what i'm going to do is very simple i'm going to come here and put in a comma because i want to just write a single line of code now in this case i need a name for the course i'm going to call it list row you can call it whatever you want now equals to so we're going to use table dot add column m function so press the tab key open parenthesis now this function requires three parameters the first is the table name next is the new column name and of course the column generate generator as function now the table is going to be this change type i'm going to copy this and come inside the bracket and comma now the next parameter is the new column now you can call it whatever you want so i'm going to call it my list and then i'm going to put in a comma now the last argument is the column generator now we're going to perform the operation for each rows in the data set so i'm going to use each that is for each rows in this list of one to the end and of course i'm going to use the square bracket and of course inside the square bracket i want the column that that is the quantity column okay so i'm going to just type in qty now i actually mean this column here the quantity column which contains the frequency distribution so that's going to be qty and when i'm done i'll just copy this and place paste here i'm going to paste it in there and then we can click on done so we can see this list here that's amazing now when i go through each of the list let me move this up you can see we have three quantity here so we have one to three now in this line or row that we have four we can say one to four in here we can see one to eight so what i'm going to do is to just click on this double expandable both things so i click on that and of course we have two options which is to expand to new rows or extract the values now i want to expand to new rows so i click on that and of course we can see that has completed a process for us so we can just get rid of these two columns right click and choose three of columns and then we can come to the home tab click on the close and load tool i want to load to an excel table so in the input wizard dialog box in here actually i want to load it to a table and of course we want the existing worksheet now let's choose cell f1 and i click okay oops. so i'm going to get rid of this okay cell f1 and then i can click on okay and let's see the final outcome that is amazing you can see that we have three you know laptops we have four smart tv two furnitures and of course eight of this now let's say um the laptop increase to you know five and i click enter you can see the formula based solution updated but what i need to do for the power query is to right click and choose refresh and of course that will also refresh the data and then we have the same result so this is basically how we can use the power query to perform the same operation in excel i hope you enjoyed this video if you do you can like comment share and subscribe to the channel thank you and bye for now cheers